you know, they did a recovery guru here, or Paul as well. Um, just wanted to shoot a quick video on how to do mechanical work on uh, one of those uh, one terabyte Toshiba drives from 2016. Um, we already did the work on uh, the customer's drive. We got a very good clone, a 99% successful clone on all of the used areas on the drive. Right, so the cloning process is complete. Um, and now we are going to return the heads from the patient drive back to the donor here. Uh, because the mechanical work is complete, mechanical work is complete, so we are swapping back the rhythm mechanism from that drive to this one. Uh, so you know, let's get to it. Customers from Ashland, Massachusetts. Um, she brought the computer to one of our local uh, computer repair uh, partners, and uh, they couldn't recover because they had a uh, hardware issue, obviously. And uh, the partner called us. We took it in and we performed the recovery. So. The only issue with this particular recovery was that the customer did not have that much data on the drive. There's only some um, Word documents, like recipes, like cooking recipes, and a couple other things, but like not that much. Uh, so we are waiting for her to confirm what it is that she's looking for, so we can uh, do a thorough check on the clone. We no longer need this drive. We're working off of the clone as far as scanning and searching the files and so on. So, okay, I will stop talking now because we are going to open the drive, so uh, I need to focus, okay? All right.
Okay. So now we're gonna swap the mechanism back to its drive, to its donor, where it belongs. going to need a place here we to need this this difficult part So 
Here's the drive. We're gonna test it to make sure that it's still working correctly, right? So as you can see, the serial number is 26 JJO BLMS. By the way, this drive, although it says Toshiba on it, architecturally speaking, it's actually a Hitachi drive. So this number here, HD KP, that one that indicates that it's a Hitachi drive. Also, when we read the firmware on it. Uh, we can detect that the architecture is like a Hitachi's. It's not like Toshiba drive. It's like a Hitachi drive architecture. Um, so uh, it's a very interesting story as far as the acquisition of companies. So Hitachi Group Storage Technologies acquired Toshiba um, many years ago. And then eventually Western Digital uh, acquired the Hitachi Group storage technologies themselves. So now all these brands, Toshiba and Hitachi, both belong to Western Digital. Um, so uh, that's a little story on how we got here. As a matter of fact, nowadays on the market, there are Hitachi drives from an architecture perspective that have WD or Western Digital uh, labeling, uh, you know, so you have a very interesting combination of what the manufacturers do when they actually own the companies that they have uh, acquired the technology from, so. Okay, so I'm going to pause over here for a second so we can get to the PC3000 PC machine so we can test to make sure that this drive is working. Um, we'll be back with you shortly, okay, one second. All right, so here's the drive connected to channel one here on the PC3000 machine. And let's test it to see if it's still mechanically good. Let's see if this mechanical work was done successfully and properly. Um, trying to get this. Um, stable for you so you can watch all right power on and then let's go to Hitachi here okay drive got ready so it's waiting for commands uh, let's go here okay so as you can see see the serial number BLNS so that's the drive you gotta identify correctly it initialized correctly let's just select one of those drives here Okay, so as you can see, I've selected a Hitachi based family because this is a Hitachi drive, you know. So, see, we can read the firmware, which is good. And now, let's test the mechanics on this, okay? See if the heads work well, um, thus indicating that the mechanical work was done correctly, as you saw in the clear room. Uh, test. So I put the last four in the serial number and the word test. And we are on channel one, yes. Read drive ID, make copy, file image, no. All right, let's see. So this is a two heads drive. So let's build a heads map. What this does is basically Allowing us to understand what zones on the disk inside the hard drive, what zones belong to what head. Uh, so this way we can test, you know, more specifically to see if um, head zero and head one are reading correctly. Okay, so see how they popped up once we build the heads map. So head zero, head one. All right, so you can see there. Okay, so now let's go to a map view of the of the drive, and then now let's start the cloning process and see if those heads read as intended. So execute. Okay, head zero as you can see, and head one. Green means cloning successfully, so you know data is read successfully. There you go. 
So this is how we confirm that the mechanical work was done correctly and uh, the drive is still in good working condition. Uh, so I just wanted to um, illustrate what the mechanical work is like for this model drive in the class 100 clear room uh, for any viewers that are curious about uh, how, how that is done on this particular drive. It's not a very common drive um, and uh, it is not very difficult but there are some stages on it during the mechanical work where it could get tricky and mistakes could be made so uh, I just wanted to capture you know what that is like uh, for a uh, data recovery specialist to work in the clean room on uh, this Toshiba model drive. All right, thank you very much. If you need help with data recovery, uh, please visit datarecoveryguru.com. On the homepage there, you'll see a blue button called Let's Start with a Free Diagnosis. Or you can uh, WhatsApp, text, or call us at 617-571-9172. All right, thank you very much. All the best. Take care.